Hi, I'm Tim Carter, founder of AskTheBuilder.com, and this video is about roof flashings, and one in particular. I just want to let you know ahead of time, I'm in some really challenging conditions. I'm way at the top of the roof of my own home. Uh, it's windy, uh, the sun is bright, uh, it's worst possible video conditions. Uh, I don't have a videographer up here with me, so you're just going to have to bear with this video. So here's what I want to let you know. First of all, most roof leaks, probably 90% or more, happen at flashings. And a flashing is, is a material that's a transitional material. It's, it's, it, it's a flashing is something that connects the actual roofing material to something that's not a roof. Okay, so I know that's a little confusing, but here's a couple of examples. For, for you know, you, you, I'm sure you've seen plumbing vent pipes that come up through a roof. Well, those have a flashing around them. Uh, you know, where siding comes down alongside a roof, you know, at a dormer, uh, that, there's a flashing there. Uh, you'll have flashings around chimneys, you know, because a chimney is not a roof. So I think you get the idea. In this particular case, this, take a look at what you've got right here. This is where a, a fascia board comes down and touches a roof and um, it's a really kind of an unusual detail. It's, it's really kind of common in some houses, but you don't often see it and it's a very, very hard thing to flash. Let's take a look. Okay, once again, I know that the, the light is going to really cause us some problems and I'll try to explain this. So here we are. This is the actual, what you're looking at right here. This is the, the ridge beam for a very steep roof on my house. The pitch is 12-12, so it's very steep. And right here, you're looking way down the roof there. And actually, right alongside here, you can see where, uh, you can't really see the flashing. It's that, that thin brown line where the siding touches this synthetic slate roofing made by Da Vinci Roofscapes. But look here. So here is a roof that continues on up um, but right here you know this same big roof plane here as you look across this particular roof plane you know stops so you've got a really big problem you know right in this area here and in and if you don't flash this correctly you're going to have a leak and in fact the previous roofer did have a leak like right under this shingle here there was evidence of um, leakage. It did not rot out the roof sheathing, but it was all water spotted. So they didn't do it right. There was no flashing here. All they did is they brought the cap shingles across the roof and they just butted it in here. And that's a huge mistake. So let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, once again, the lighting conditions are really, really tough. I'm sorry about that. The sun's right at my back and it's kind of creating a shadow. I'm gonna do my best here. So here you can see a shingle that's going to march on up the roof here. And back over here, well, I'll try to get out of the way, you can see this fascia board that comes down and butts into the other roof on the other side here. So way back underneath this fascia board, that is two inches farther that way, basically north at my house, than this point here along the shingle. So I had to make this very cool little flashing that's right here and I just made it out of a piece of flat aluminum and you can see it's bent like a roof it's got the same exact angle of the roof you know which is uh, almost a 90 degree angle what well, is 12 12 pitch but you can see it's got you know it's 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 very kind of weird so these little bent edges are called hemmed edges and they're very very important because they trap water and redirect it back down to the shingles so that it won't just kind of leak through a crack, you know, or where the flashing ends, like here. So check, check this out. This is how this flashing works. So it just gets slid back underneath here. And I know you can't see it. I apologize. It's because the lighting is so bad. But believe me that this part of the flashing where that bent metal edge is goes all the way underneath this farthest fascia board and you can see it butts up against the shingle here well that could be a big leak problem right here along this edge and of course right here is a little tiny point up here where water could get in too but here's why the hemmed edge is important if rain or water is blowing in this direction instead of just going to the edge of the flashing and um, 
getting into this crack here, you know, that, that gap that would be right there, um, it hits the metal and it's redirected down and it starts to flow down the roof. So that hemmed edge is really, really important. It's a little trick that a lot of roofers, uh, young roofer guys, they just don't seem to know about. I don't see a lot of it. So let's go ahead and finish putting on the ridge cap and the vent ridge, and I'll kind of show you how this all works at the end of the deal. You know, in other words, you'll be able to see how this all works and uh, why it becomes waterproof. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, I'm back again. I've got the uh, ridge vent installed. Sorry about the wind, and also I want to let you know I know all about fall protection, so no comments on the video about fall protection. Very aware of it. Understand all of that safety stuff. So let's take a look at where we are right now, and maybe it'll all start to make a little bit more sense. Check this out. Okay, once again, I really apologize for the light. Really, really, it's the worst possible conditions here. I'm trying to uh, show you. Here's the other side of the roof, um, you know, down to the uh, driveway. You can see this other side here, it gets real bright. Just the sun is just so bright, it's just blowing out this video. But you can see I've got the core vent, ridge vent on right here. Very neat product. And uh, farther down below, you'll try to see, you can see I've got the very interesting ridge cap shingles on made by Da Vinci Roofscapes. Um, the, uh, to make this weather tight up here, the next thing I have to do is cover this ridge vent with a piece of aluminum to seal uh, these seams so water does not get in the seams. With regular asphalt shingles, that just happens naturally as you overlap the cap shingles. But now, let's take a look down here. Once again, I know the light's really bad. I'm doing the best I possibly can. The light's just blowing it out. So I stopped the ridge vent on purpose, you know, away from that hemmed edge. And you can see there's a, you might be able to see there's a gap uh, right there. That gap's going to be covered when the ridge shingles butt into that green fascia board. So uh, that's... Uh, that gap's kind of gone, it's going to go away from above. You'll be able to see it from below, but that's okay. I'm not worried about any rain blowing uphill in that area uh, because the roof's so steep. And I've got the hemmed edge. It's going to, uh, it's not going to cause any leaks. So um, that's, uh, that's what's going on there. It's really, really a simple detail. All we have to do now is just cover this with the cap shingles and do a very special thing right in this area with the overlap to make sure this is waterproof. That's the next step. Okay, I've got the first strip of bent aluminum in. Once again, I apologize for the light. That's what happens when you work in direct sunlight. You know, it just blasts out where the sun is. You can maybe see it on the other side here. Maybe not. But uh, that piece of aluminum slides underneath those cap shingles and it overlaps the other piece of aluminum that you can't see underneath there. Um, so this is what keeps rain from coming in down the center of the ridge line. So you can see the rain will wash down over the aluminum and wash down over the uh, waterproof ridge vent and then down onto the shingles. But uh, very little water will actually get in up there, uh, hardly any at all. Now all I have to do is I just have to put the next piece on here that extends over and butts up against the uh, shingle there. So that's. Uh, that's the next step. So let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, you can see that the uh, last piece of aluminum is in. And of course, the reason you can see everything is because my body is creating some shade, which is the awesome, that's the way we should be taping this whole video on a really cloudy day, but I can't control the weather. Okay, so you can see that the aluminum flashing is overlapping the hemmed edge of the original little special flashing I built. And what's going to cover all of this brown aluminum are going to be the special ridge cap shingles from Da Vinci Roofscapes. And you'll see the final product here as I march across uh, and put these in in just a second. So um, hang loose and you're going to see how this fin this is uh, finished in the end. But you can also see right now, it's kind of cool. Let's just say I didn't put any cap shingles on right now. If it rained, um, right through here where you would think it would leak, it's not going to leak at all because the water is going to go and hit that lower brown flashing and flow right down over the shingle below. So the roof is already leak proof. The only place where you might get a, a drop of water would be right here. 
but right now that aluminum is touching that shingle and when I'm completely finished you're going to see that this is covered up here and uh, the shingle above that's eventually going to go here is going to cover and lap over onto here which will make a water tight seam for sure so um, it's just a matter of really kind of using your head and just thinking about what the water wants to do and especially when it's being driven by wind that's why we've got that special hemmed edge here you know you have to have that uh, so that's going to stop the rain from going that direction okay let's get the cap shingles on and finish this job okay some clouds have come over so that's kind of cool this is what it's supposed to look like um, when you're taping you're supposed to be in cloudy weather believe it or not doing videos the shadows are just horrible take a look at this really quickly before the sun comes back out okay now that's a lot better look at how we don't have all those <clears throat> horrible shadows <clears throat> you can kind of see what's going on here uh, there's that fascia board <clears throat> here's the uh, roof that goes down to the front sidewalk <clears throat> here is the uh, rest of the roof and in case you wanted to see a view kind of what I look out on so we're pretty high it's a 12 12 pitch roof okay so here's the da Vinci roofscapes cap shingles you can see at the top you know they don't meet perfectly but that's okay that's why that um, aluminum is here that's why the aluminum you know is here so any water droplets that fall here just go underneath the shingles come down and just flow down the roof all right, so now what happens, the, a full shingle, a full cap shingle would not fit in these spots, so I had to cut them and to fit, and we'll put those on, and then you'll see what the uh, finished product is. But two shingles in each location had to be cut to make this all work out. Let's try to put that all together before the sun comes back out again so you can see the finished product. But um, this is what it looks like on a side view, you know, as you're looking across you know and up the rest of the roof here so you can see how that is a, a really critical flashing detail pretty unusual but you can do it let's look at the finished job in just a second okay here it is it's all finished now remember this looks really crazy because I'm using a completely different cap shingle system than you're probably going to use you know asphalt shingles you know they would uh, lap over one another you know like this and you would never see this gap right here you don't see this gap from the ground um, that's by design and once again remember the aluminum right here underneath these da Vinci cap shingles is what keeps water from leaking in the ridge so you don't see any of that from the ground you'd only see it if you were in a helicopter or maybe a drone but you can see how I've cut uh, the last shingles to fit around the molding around the fascia boards that gap there does not have to be caulked remember why because any water that goes down that gap is going to hit the aluminum it's not going to be able to go towards the wood because of that hemmed edge and it's going to flow out down the uh, shingles down there the same thing true on this side here so this shingle here once again overlaps that hemmed edge and um, it's not really an issue it's it's really cool now the shingles here you know we'll start to march up towards the other ridge line and once again you can see here's a really good example here's the old cap shingles you can see why you don't see the um, ridge line the top of the ridge uh, because you know the cap shingles bend over the um, you know bend over that ridge well th th that's not possible to do with these solid these these hard um, pieces of um, synthetic slate and even on traditional slate roofs this is exactly how the old slate roofers did it they did it the exact same way except instead of using aluminum uh, they used either sheet lead or they used copper uh, at the ridge and once again because you're on the ground you don't see this gap that's at the top of the roof but any old slate shingle roofer will tell you that's how it's done so you can see all the way down the roof it's all finished uh, this section of the roof now is complete and uh, we're ready to move on and uh, tackle some really complex roofing you know around here you know going up and around this valley and whatever lots of work to do okay I hope you enjoyed that video I know it was a little convoluted might be a little complex um, the key is the to understand that hemmed edge you know where I bent that material that aluminum at almost a hundred and eighty degree angle 
you know, I didn't flatten it out, too. That was important. In other words, there was kind of a gap there, if you remember that. So um, uh, you don't want to bend it and then hammer it flat. That's not the point. You want to basically create that little gap where uh, water can flow down and uh, get back down onto the shingles. That's the secret. So remember, flashings are everything. Take time with your flashings. Understand how to do flashings. If you do flashings right, your roof's not going to leak. It's that simple. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.